gals and guys. Welcome back to the Fat Earth Backyard Farm. I'm sitting out here with my zucchini plant and I wanted to show you the difference between a male flower and a female flower. You may hear this um, as a new gardener. Oh, and here comes one of my chickens to say hello. Sorry about that. You may hear this as a new gardener or um, and you might not understand what it means, uh, but I'm going to show you. Okay, so this right here, this is a flower that hasn't even opened up yet, okay? And you can see, just a flower, regular stem, right? Okay, now, here, if you can see, and I'm sorry because the, the sun is in my way again. Here is another bloom right here, okay? And if you look, there is the zucchini under it. See this that my fingers on right now that's the zucchini this is a female flower so your female buds will have the fruit actually growing under them and the same thing is true with your cucumber plants um, and most of the plants in this in the squash family you will have female flowers that have the fruits under directly under the flower and then the male flowers which do not have fruits under them so again this is the female flower with the flower on the top and the fruit there directly under the flower. And in case you didn't know, these orange flowers here, I've actually uh, worked at a farm where they sold these. They kind of snipped them off the plant and they sell them and people eat them. Uh, they bake them, they fry them in dough. They stuff them with cheese, a whole bunch of different ways that you can make it. So, you have a little edible uh, gardening tip there, as well as the difference between male and female flowers. So, that's it for now, garden gals and guys. Until next time, happy gardening!